In this question, we're asked for the Z-transform of the output of a system that takes two inputs, x1 and x2. And we're actually given x1 and x2, so the question's really easier than it looks. So if we simply plug x1 in there and x2 in there, we can rewrite the output as A times an impulse at n equals a plus b times an impulse at n equals b. And to find the z transform, y of z, we simply need to find the inverse z-transform of an impulse, or the z-transform of an impulse, and we can do that using the table. So an impulse function, delta of n, will give us 1, and because it's a linear operation, we simply multiply this 1 by a. So we have an a, and we have a b. Now, because we also have these delays, Remember, when you have a delay, that corresponds to multiplication by a z to the power minus that delay. So we have a z to the power minus a and z to the power minus b to represent the z-transform of that delay. So this is the time shift property of the z-transform. So there we have it, that's the final answer, that's the Z-transform of Y of N, or that's Y of Z.